Hi, this is Susie Istvan from Social Susie Designs. I'm going to show you today a couple of easy ways to get a really great looking gallery on your website. And you can insert it into posts or pages. Um, it's a really great way to show off your work or to display some recipes or show vacation photos, whatever you kind of want to do for your brand to make it really personal. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, no matter which version of the gallery I, do, I like to do, is before I upload the photo, I want to resize the pictures to make sure that they're all the same width. It just makes it neater and cleaner and easier um, than doing it after you've already uploaded and taken up the space on your website. So I've got right here this folder open with um, example photos that we're going to use for this project. I got them all from freedigitalphotos.net, which you'll see right here. Um, and they're, you know, free place to get some stock photography if you need it. Um, and for this project, that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to open up the folder, and I am working in a Mac, so these instructions will be for Macs. Um, I'm going to open up the folder, and I'm going to highlight all of the images that I have in that folder that I want to resize. And in this case, it's all of them. I'm going to right click and open with preview. And you'll see all of my photos just got kind of opened here. You can scroll down and see. We've got a beauty theme going. We're assuming this is someone's beauty portfolio, right? So what I'm going to do is go to edit and I'm going to move my recorder so I can see. <laughs> um, let me make sure I'm clicked on the right folder. Edit, select all. And then I'm going to go to tools and adjust the size. Cool. So what you'll see is there's like a lot of stuff going on here because all four images at this time are selected. They all have different sizes. So right now I'm going to set all of their widths to be, let's say, 350 pixels. And you'll see it's already in pixels. I mean, you could change it to percentage or inches or whatever else you want, but I'm going to stay in pixels. I'm not going to enter a value for the height because I want the height to stay proportional to um, to the image um, as it exists now. So I'm okay with the heights being different in this case. Um, you want to make sure scale proportionality is clicked um, and then you're going to click OK. And what it does is it has gone through all of these images and resized them. And then to make sure that that is what is in my folder now, I'm going to go to File and I am going to click, wait, let me make sure all right, we're going to select all again. I think I must have deselected some. So now I'm going to go to File and Save. And it's going to save all four of them, and it's going to update them in my folder where they came from, um, which is really good to know. If you do not want to save over the file that you opened, you're going to want to save as and give it a different name. But otherwise, this is just going to save over the files that you have on your computer. So we are done with that, and the next thing we'll do is upload them to your site. Okay, so now I'm inside of this imaginary page that I'm adding to my website, um, or example page, I, page, I should say, um, where I'm going to add this beauty you know, portfolio of my imaginary beauty business work that I'm doing. And this really does happen. I have clients who are artists. I have clients who are... Um, gallery owners, I have clients who are salons, and this is all the kind of thing they may want to add into a blog post or a page down the line when the design is finished. Um, I am working in the thesis theme in WordPress. I believe you should be able to do this in any version of WordPress. Not I believe. You should be able to do this in any version of WordPress. Now, if what I'm about to show you isn't coming up for you as an option, make sure you're updated to the latest version of WordPress because um, this gallery feature is kind of new. So just make sure you're updated if it's not showing up. All right, having said all that, this is my page I've set up. I've given it, given it a title. I'm on the edit screen. I'm going to click add media. And I'm going to upload my files that we just resized. I'm going to select all of them. And they are going to get added to my image gallery or my media library, I should say. And I want to make sure that these images that I want in my new fancy gallery um, are, are all uploaded here. And I'm going to go over to the left side and I'm going to click Create Gallery. And again, I want to make sure that the images I want in my new fancy gallery are all checked off here. Now what I can do is go through each photo and add a title, add alt text, which is great if you think people are going to pin your image, that's probably a good idea. Um, it can help with SEO a little bit to have um, 
some text that's descriptive and with some great keywords in there, but that's in kind of a whole different tutorial. Um, yeah, so I'll make sure all four of my images that I want to appear in my gallery are checked and nothing else, and I will click Create a New Gallery. And here um, I can reorder the images. I can caption the images. So, eye makeup, um, wedding hair, you'll see, oh. Wedding hair. You can decide how many columns you want. So do I want two and two? Do I want, um, you know, some and anything else that you want? Do you want them to go in random order? I have um, a salon that I do work for that really likes the galleries to be randomized so that people can kind of refresh the page and see something they may not have noticed before. But maybe you want like this really intentional layout. You can decide if you want a thumbnail grid. Um, which is what we're going to try right here. So you can see, and we'll talk about slideshows in another time. So I'm just going to insert the gallery, and you'll see it shows up like this. It doesn't look like much of anything, and that's okay. Um, so to see what it's going to look like, I'm going to click Preview, and another window is going to open, and we're going to see kind of what this imaginary website or imaginary page on my website would look like. Cool. So there's my gallery. And you can see my captions show up here. Um, I spaced them out, as you saw, with... Um, you know, two, two sets of two, obviously you can change it out. Um, and that's a really easy way to add a really attractive gallery to your website. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use a free plugin to make one that's a little bit fancier.